Imagine a single genetic mutation so powerful that it disrupts the very way the brain forms connections, shaping how a person experiences the world around them. Now imagine scientists finding a way to reverse that damage, offering hope where there once seemed to be none. This is the story of Shank 3, a gene at the heart of autism and the groundbreaking research at UCLA Health that's offering a new kind of hope to families worldwide. Autism spectrum disorder affects millions across the globe. In the United States alone, one in every 36 children is diagnosed each year. While autism has many contributing factors, mutations in the Shank 3 gene are among the most significant, accounting for up to 2% of all autism cases. When you consider how widespread autism is, that's a huge number. But Shank 3 isn't just another gene. It plays a pivotal role in how our brains develop and function. The Shank 3 gene does something crucial. It helps form the synapses, the connection points between neurons that allow our brains to communicate. When Shank 3 is missing or damaged, those connections don't form properly, resulting in changes that can manifest as autism symptoms, intellectual disabilities, and sometimes epilepsy. But here's where the story takes an extraordinary turn. For years, Scientists believed that once the brain's wiring went wrong due to Shank 3 mutations, it was permanent, irreversible. But at UCLA Health, a team of researchers dared to ask, what if that wasn't true? They developed induced pluripotent stem cells, cells that were reprogrammed to behave like early-stage brain cells. From these, they grew neurons with Shank 3 mutations, the exact mutations found in patients with autism. And what they found changed everything. The damage caused by Shank 3 mutations wasn't permanent, after all. In fact, it was ongoing and, most shockingly, reversible. Imagine the impact. What if it's possible to reverse the very brain changes that lead to autism? Here's how it works. In the lab, the team identified a key molecular pathway that plays a huge role in how neurons grow and function, the MTOR signaling pathway. By targeting this pathway, the researchers found that they could restore synaptic connections in neurons carrying Shank 3 mutations, even in fully developed, mature brain cells. This wasn't just theory anymore. They were making real progress. In their experiments, treated neurons began showing dramatic improvements. Dendritic spines, the tiny structures that facilitate neuron communication, became denser and more numerous. Electrical signaling between neurons, the very foundation of brain function, became stronger, improving their ability to communicate. These neurons were beginning to fire and communicate the way they were supposed to. And when the same treatments were tested on animal models, the results were just as promising. Repetitive behaviors often seen in autism. Decreased social difficulties. Improved. And these changes didn't just last for a few hours or days. They persisted. But this is just the beginning. Turning these laboratory findings into treatments for humans takes time, precision, and careful testing. There are still many hurdles to overcome. When is the best time to intervene? How can we ensure that these treatments are safe? What are the long-term effects on the brain? These questions are critical, but the researchers are tackling them head-on, ensuring that every step is methodically tested. In 2023, the UCLA team began collaborating with pharmaceutical partners to prepare for clinical trials targeting Shank 3 mutations. This could be the first step toward life-changing treatments for children and adults with Shank 3-related autism. For families already living with the effects of Shank 3-related autism, this research represents something extraordinary. It's not just another study. It's hope. Hope that the future can be different, brighter, and more connected for their children. Hope that the brain's incredible ability to adapt can be harnessed and repaired. And while this research focuses specifically on Shank 3, it's opening doors to entirely new ways of thinking about autism and other neurodevelopmental disorders. The discoveries made in this lab could one day inform treatments for a wide range of genetic causes of autism, giving families everywhere a reason to believe that no matter the diagnosis, there's always hope. This research isn't just about fixing genes, it's about understanding how the brain works, how it adapts, and how we can help it thrive in ways we never thought possible. Imagine a world where autism isn't something to endure, but something we understand, treat, and embrace. Where brain development isn't fixed, it's adaptable, treatable, and ultimately, changeable.
If you found this breakthrough inspiring, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest developments in autism research. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, because the journey to hope and change is just getting started.